Jericho is a general designation given to a loosely related family of deployed ballistic missiles developed by Israel from the 1960s forward. The name is taken from the first development contract for the Jericho I signed between Israel and Dassault in 1963, with the code name as a reference to the biblical city of Jericho. As with most Israeli unconventional weapon systems, exact details are classified, though there are observed test data, public statements by government officials, and details in open literature especially about the Shavit satellite launch vehicle. The later Jericho family development is related to the Shavit and Shavit 2 space launch vehicles believed to be derivatives of the Jericho 2 IRBM and that preceded the development of the Jericho 3 ICBM. The Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in the U.S. concluded that the Shavit could be adapted as an ICBM carrying 500 kg warhead over 7,500 km. Additional insight into the Jericho program was revealed by the South African series of missiles, of which the RSA-3 are believed to be licensed copies of the Jericho 2 shavit and the RSA-4 that used part of these systems in their stack with a heavy first stage. Subsequent to the declaration and disarming of the nuclear program of South Africa, the RSA series missiles were offered commercially as satellite launch vehicles, resulting in the advertised specifications becoming public knowledge. The civilian space launch version of the Jericho, the Shavit, has been studied in an air-launched version piggybacked on a Boeing 747 similar to a U.S. experimental launch of the Minuteman ICBM from a C-5 Galaxy. Jericho I was first publicly identified as an operational short-range ballistic missile system in late 1971. It was 13.4 meters, 44 feet, long, 0.8 meters, 2 feet 7 in, in diameter, weighing 6.5 tons, 14,000 pounds. It had a range of 500 kilometers, 310 miles, and a SEP of 1,000 meters, 3,300 feet, and it could carry a payload estimated at 400 kilograms, 880 pounds. It was intended to carry a nuclear warhead. Due to Israel's ambiguity over its nuclear weapons program, the missile is classified as a ballistic missile. Initial development was in conjunction with France, Dassault provided various missile systems from 1963 and a type designated MD-620 was test fired in 1965. French cooperation was halted by an arms embargo in January 1968, though 12 missiles had been delivered from France. Work was continued by IA at the Beit Zachariah facility and the program cost almost $1 billion up to 1980, incorporating some U.S. technology. Despite some initial problems with its guidance systems, it is believed that around 100 missiles of this type were produced. In 1969, Israel agreed with the United States that Jericho missiles would not be used as strategic missiles, with nuclear warheads, until at least 1972, during the October 1973 Yom Kippur War, with the initial surprise breakthroughs on both northern and southern borders by Arab armies. The alarmed Defense Minister Moshe Dayan told Israeli Prime Minister Golda Meir that this is the end of the Third Temple. He was warning of Israel's impending total defeat, but Temple was also the code word for nuclear weapons. Dayan again raised the nuclear topic in a cabinet meeting, warning that the country was approaching a point of last resort. That night Meir authorized the assembly of 13 nuclear weapon physics packages to arm Jericho I missiles at Estat Miha Air Base, and F-4 aircraft at Tel Naf Air Base, for use against Syrian and Egyptian targets. The range on the Jericho 1 is sufficient to strike major cities such as Damascus and Cairo from secured launch locations. They would be used if absolutely necessary to prevent total defeat, but the preparation was done in an easily detectable way, likely as a signal to the US. US Secretary of State Henry Kissinger learned of the nuclear alert on the morning of October 9. That day, in keeping with his deal and warning that prevented a preemptive Israeli attack on gathering Arab armies, President Nixon ordered the commencement of Operation Nickel Grass, a U.S. airlift to replace all of Israel's material losses. Anecdotal evidence suggests that Kissinger told Sadat that the reason for the U.S. airlift was that the Israelis were close to going nuclear. It is believed that all Jericho 1 missiles were taken out of service in the 1990s and replaced with the longer-range Jericho 2. The Jericho 1 missiles were housed in Zechariah, located southeast of Tel Aviv and stationed in caves. The Jericho 2, YA-3, is a solid fuel, two-stage long-range ballistic missile system and a follow-on from the Jericho I project. 
As many as 90 Jericho 2 missiles are currently based in caves near Zikaria, Estat Miha Air Base, southeast of Tel Aviv. A request from Israel for 1,100 mile, 1,770 kilometers, range Pershing 2 medium range ballistic missiles was rejected by the United States for inclusion as part of a military assistance incentive package offered in 1975 during negotiations over transferring the Sinai from Israel aid to Egyptian control as part of a U.S. brokered peace deal. Jericho 2 development began in 1977, and by 1986 there were reports of test firings. According to Missile Threat, a project of the George C. Marshall Institute, there is evidence the Jericho 2 originated as a joint Israeli-Iranian project, cooperation that ended with the loss of friendly relations after the 1979 Islamist revolution overthrew the Shah's rule. There was a series of test launches into the Mediterranean from 1987 to 1992, the longest at around 1,300 kilometers, mostly from the facility at Palmashim, south of Tel Aviv. Jane's reports that a test launch of 1,400 kilometers is believed to have taken place from South Africa's Overberg test range in June 1989. The Jericho 2 is 14.0 meters long and 1.56 meters wide, with a reported launch weight of 26,000 kilograms, although an alternative launch weight of 21,935 kilograms has been suggested. It has a 1,000 kilograms payload capable of carrying a considerable amount of high explosives or a 1 megaton yield nuclear warhead. It uses a two-stage solid propellant engine with a separating warhead. The missile can be launched from a silo, a railroad flat car, or a mobile vehicle. This gives it the ability to be hidden, moved quickly, or kept in a hardened silo, largely ensuring survival against any attack. It has an active radar homing terminal guidance system similar to that of the Pershing 2, for very accurate strikes. The Jericho 2 forms the basis of the three-stage, 23-ton Shavit Next satellite launcher, first launched in 1988 from Palmachim. From the performance of Shavit it has been estimated that as a ballistic missile it has a maximum range of about 7,800 km with a 500 kg payload. The Jericho 2 is an available Israeli counterattack option to Iraqi missile bombardment in the 1991 Gulf War is disputed. Jane's at the time believed that Jericho 2 entered service in 1989. Researcher Seth Karras claims that, according to an Israeli source, the decision to operationally deploy the Jericho 2 was only made after 1994, several years after the Scud attacks had ended and a ceasefire and disarmament regime were in place. Raytheon Technologies, quoting Soviet intelligence archives, showed them believing the Jericho 2 to have been fully developed weapon in 1989, but did not indicate when it was available for deployment. Investigators for the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace accessed commercial satellite images of the Estat Miha Air Base near Zakaria, a suspected Jericho missile base. Comparison shows expansion between 1989 and 1993 of the type that would accommodate suspected Jericho 2 launchers and missiles. Such an expansion would be more consistent with a post-1991 deployment chronology. It is believed that the Jericho 3, YA-4, is a nuclear-armed ICBM that entered service in 2011. The Jericho 3 is believed to have two or three stages, using solid propellant and having a payload of 1,000 to 1,300 kg. The payload could be a single 750 kg, 150 to 400 kiloton, nuclear warhead or two or three low-yield MIRV warheads, it has an estimated launch weight of 30,000 kg and a length of 15.5 meters with a width of 1.56 meters. It may be similar to an upgraded and redesigned Shavit Space Launch Vehicle, produced by Israel Aerospace Industries. It probably has longer first and second stage motors. It is estimated by Missile Threat. Calm that it has a range of 4,800 to 6,500 km, 2,982 to 4,038 miles, though a 2004 missile proliferation survey by the Congressional Research Service put its possible maximum range at 11,500 km. Missile range is inversely proportional to payload mass. According to an official report that was submitted to the U.S. Congress in 2004, it may be that with a payload of 1,000 kg the Jericho 3 gives Israel nuclear strike capabilities within the entire Middle East, Africa, Europe, Asia and almost all parts of North America, as well as large parts of South America and North Oceania. Missile Threat Reports, 
The range of the Jericho 3 also provides an extremely high impact speed for nearby targets, enabling it to avoid any anti-ballistic missile ABM, defenses that may develop in the immediate region. On January 17, 2008 Israel test-fired a multi-stage ballistic missile believed to be of the Jericho 3 type, reportedly capable of carrying conventional or non-conventional warheads. On November 2, 2011, Israel successfully test-fired a missile believed to be an upgraded version of the Jericho 3 at Palmashim, the long trail of smoke was seen throughout central Israel. Israel's intercontinental ballistic missile launchers are believed to be buried so deeply that they would survive a first-strike nuclear attack. After a successful missile test launch conducted in early 2008, Israeli weapons expert General Itzhak Ben Israel, former chairman of the Israeli Space Agency at the Ministry of Science, said everybody can do the mathematics. We can reach with a rocket engine to every point in the world, thus appearing to confirm Israel's new capability. Israeli Ministry of Defense officials said that the 2008 test launch represented a dramatic leap in Israel's missile technologies. After a further test in 2013 alone Ben David published this opinion in an article in Aviation Week on the missile's range and throw weight, reportedly, Israel's Jericho 3 intermediate range ballistic missile is capable of carrying a 1,000 kg pounds, warhead more than 5,000 km. Further tests conducted in July 2013 could have been for the Jericho 3 or possibly the Jericho 3A missile, a follow-up missile believed to have a new motor. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment and share. Thank you.